Howdy everyone. I hope you guys are all having a nice winter break right now. It is cold over here in San Diego. Well, I am washing my clothes right now and I only have this trench coat. Don't judge. Today we have uh, two laptops. We have an R400 and a T400. They're pretty much the same thing. Uh, we have one with a uh, 1331 RAM beep and we have this one over here that um, I don't know if you can see that. Can you guys tell me you see that? I don't hear you guys. We have this one that doesn't want to go past the ThinkPad screen. Well, one, one of them sounds like an easy fix, just the RAM. The other one is a little bit harder to fix. Um, in the uh, photos that you're seeing right now, I've, I thought that both of these have, um, you know, the USBs, they're bad. One's broken and the other, and the other one, you can see the, uh, watch well, to say, both of them are broken. Uh, they, there's one on the other side that, that is in good condition, but you can see the uh, little prongs are just everywhere. So that means that in the photos, you can see the USBs are a bit damaged. Um, there are three USBs in this unit. There are two on the left and then there's one on the right. Good thing that there is the ones on the right are still intact. Uh, one unit has uh, both, of the, both the USBs on the left damaged and the other one has one USB damaged. Um, the R400 is the one with the two damaged USBs. I think I might keep this one. Um, and then the T400 only has one damaged USB, or USB I should say. I think I might sell it. I have a, a T60P screen that I want to fix up. And I might put that T, or I should say that R400 into there. So we'll find out what we can do with these. We're going to try out the uh, T400 first. I seem to misplace my, um, my, uh, tweezers that I use for this so I got I got a, a, a file I'm thinking about using Ooh, this is all loose over here Let's see if I have a pair no oh, never mind so these USBs pretty pretty jacked up right now I gotta say Oh, oh, my hair was in that video. How embarrassing. Alright, let's go with that. Let's test this bad boy out. I have a live session of Crunch Bad running right now. Oh, whoa. There's a video on here. Oh, let's, let's exit out of that before it, um before I'm going to get a D DMCA act or whatever the fudge is called. Um, there is some weird type of like glue going on over here. Um, it's, it's even on the panel. I don't know if you guys can see it really right there. Um, and then there's all, there's also see. Let me turn off the screen. There's also some nasty goop right there also not not good at all the keyboard is kind of nasty but we got we got two USB we got one USB working right here and well obviously this one is booting um, the the hinge is not too bad but the Wi-Fi works and um, the screen works the sound works so this thing might be ready to resell I got the R400 going on right now and the CMOS battery was taken out. If you can see the inner hair lights, it does this sort of like reset thing going on. Um, this unit got cleaned up. <laughs> there is no uh, Wi-Fi card in here. There's no modem. Um, the shift key uh, likes to break out. It likes to just come off. 
and we're stuck at this screen again wonderful right so I knew that the uh, USBs were broken so let me go ahead and try to fix that again Let's see <clears throat> we got a couple of messed up USBs again this one looks all jacked up these ones down here are jacked up this one is messed up let me see if I can pull this one out at least pull up that little part I forgot to say, when these little prongs, when they contact either here or the bottom, they, this this is the reason why they, the the laptop won't, won't won't turn on anymore. It um, I have, I don't know why. I guess it's like a safety procedure, but it's not really explained on uh, any any of the ThinkPads and in a hardware maintenance manual. Um, you can soldier. You can soldier uh, the, these USBs in and out here, but um, this USB is kind of odd because it, it sits sideways rather than, you know, uh, I would say, uh, I guess, hamburger style. I don't know. Um, instead of sitting, uh, what's that called, horizontal, this things, these things sit, sit vertical. And actually, these USBs, they come in a two-pack, so they're they're actually a bit, a little bit harder to source. Um, I think they... When I when I was gonna uh, fix one, they were like twelve or over twenty dollars for like two USBs. I just said, you know, I could I could buy a little a a, U, a a USB right here for like eight bucks or something, fix that problem. All right, let's try out this R four hundred and see what's gonna happen. Press F one for BIOS. Okay, we gotta set the date and time. Oh, we got a BIOS lock. Oh, this is going to be great. Turn that off right now. I'm not sure how I feel about the R400. I don't mind the T400 having a broken USB, but the R400 having a BIOS lock really sucks. It's not just the BIOS lock, it's the fact that I have to set the date and time for it. It's probably one of the worst things you can do. It's 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 pretty much broken unless unless you can find out what that BIOS uh, password is. But even then, if you input too many, you're going to get locked out cuz it's going to only accept the one that one password afterwards. Hmm. <sighs> but I think I still have a chance. There was a W500 that I accidentally pulled the, the CMOS battery as a new mistake and I ruined the machine and it did not reset the, bio, the BIOS lock. So I had to set the date and time. There is a, a certain pinout for the uh, CMOS bat for not the CMOS, but for the EEPROM chip. And you could actually short the chip with, with I think, uh, two, two metal prongs no, three metal prongs, but you have to hold it a very particular way. It's very hard to do it with two hands because you still need to press the power button to turn the thing on. So I think I might have a chance with that, but even then, I can't sell the machine with a BIOS lock. I have to sell an OS because at least for the o if there's an OS on there, the person can is able to use it. Otherwise, I guess I could sell with a BIOS lock. But it will go for a parts laptop only, so the value of it will drop down a lot. Well, well, at least I got a T400 out of it. And if the R400 works and I can reset it, then I will definitely try to make a Franken-pad out of it. So I'll see you guys around.